Hello, welcome to G Cinema. The first major Marvel movie of 2024 is Madam Web, and here's how much it costs to make and how much it needs to earn at the box office in order to be successful. The latest film in Sony's Spider-Man universe tells the story of Cassandra Webb, a paramedic who discovers she has powerful psychic abilities that allow her to see the future, and she uses her talents to protect the lives of three young spider-powered girls from a threatening man named Ezekiel Sims. The Madam Web cast features Dakota Johnson, who plays the titular clairvoyant in this movie. The Madam Web release date is set for February 14, and its performance at the box office could set the tone for 2024 Marvel movies. Movies in the SSU have garnered mixed commercial success, ranging from exceedingly profitable, like Spider-Man, across the Spider-Verse, to financial failures like Morbius. Most recently even films from the MCU, which historically had a stronger track record than the SSU, underperformed critically and commercially. Madam Webb's box office success could either continue this downward trend for superhero movies or signal a return to form. As reported by Variety, Madam Webb had a budget of less than $100 million, making it one of the less expensive releases from the SSU. In comparison, the two other SSU movies slated to release this year, Craven the Hunter and Venom 3, have reported budgets of slightly less than $130 million and slightly more than $110 million, respectively. Madam Webb's budget puts it in the same league as Morbius, which was a critical failure and a box office bomb. While this may seem like a bad omen, there are a lot of factors working in favor of the movie that could mean success. For example, while certain 2023 releases were negatively impacted due to the WGA and SAG after strikes, as the first Marvel movie released after the strikes, Madam Webb has been able to launch a strong marketing campaign and bring awareness to the movie. Also, due to the fact that the only MCU movie releasing in 2024 is Deadpool 3, Marvel fans and moviegoers can invest more time and energy into SSU releases like Madam Web. Further, Madam Web's Valentine's Day release date means that audiences can plan to see the movie as part of larger holiday festivities, making it feel more like an event. Because a movie's gross generally needs to double its budget in order to earn a profit, Madam Web needs to earn around $200 million in order to be a box office success. Of course, this estimate is solely based on whether the movie is able to turn a profit, which Morbius, one of the SSU's biggest flops, nearly failed to do. When viewing Madam Web's success in comparison to the SSU's commercially successful releases, the $200 million is not that impressive of a feat. For example, Across the Spider-Verse grossed over $600 million globally on a $100 $150 million budget. In regard to live-action releases, Venom, Let There Be Carnage was able to surpass $200 million pretty quickly, becoming one of the few 2021 releases to do so due to the pandemic. If Madam Web is only able to gross $200 million in total, it could be seen as a box office failure, since that's the break-even point. While the threshold for Madam Web to turn a profit may be lower than some other movies in the franchise, it would still need to earn more than $200 million to be universally recognized as a success. As it stands, Madam Web's box office projections are record-breaking and not in a good way. The movie's opening weekend is set to be a massive box office disappointment, only earning $25.35 million. This could make Madam Web the lowest earning domestic opening for a Sony Spider-Man movie ever. The movie is also predicted to end its run having only earned $56.101 million, which could make it one of the biggest box office flops of 2024. If these projections are correct, Madam Web would replace Morbius as the SSU's biggest commercial failure in recent years. Maybe a little.